Good morning and good afternoon, uh, depending on wherever you are. Uh, thank you so much for joining in uh, to the next Foundations Open Source Summit 2021. And this is a tool demo on Reinsen. Uh, it's an open source reconnaissance framework for continuous asset monitoring. Uh, it also will serve as a reconnaissance framework for your pen testers and security audits as well. So before we begin, uh, a very quick introduction about me. Uh, my name is Yogesh and I work as a research engineer at a company called TRC Research and Development and my research focus is in building solutions for crime and terror. I also build and maintain train engine. That's something that I do apart from my full-time job and I also have been a speaker at several conferences like TEDx, Open Source Summit, DEF CON and Black Hat. Um, let's see the targeted audience for this talk. The targeted audience for this talk is anybody who is looking forward for um, reconnaissance uh, for automated reconnaissance let's say penetration testers or it also could be you know organizations looking forward for asset discovery and also for continuous monitoring uh, we'll see what exactly is asset discovery we'll see what exactly is continuous monitoring we'll see everything in the coming slides uh, before we talk about what this tool does we need to talk about the state of web application security and where this tool range in is very important for you now, over the last few years, we have seen an increased number of attacks on the web application. On the screen that you see right now, the report where the web applications attack spiked to almost 113 million attacks on a single day. And that number on an average is approximately 25 to 30 million every single day. And also one report from Portswigger, it suggests that web application attack contributes to almost half of all the data breaches. And these numbers do not seem to uh, you know, decrease. And there are some reasons behind that. One of the reasons behind that is because of the attack surface the modern application generates. And also that because the companies are not aware of these assets. It is very difficult for a company to keep a track of how many subdomain the organization has. It is also difficult to know that how many of them are you know, test or dev uh, servers or dev subdomains into existence. Let's say, uh, you know, your development team has just exposed, they want to test a web application and then they just deployed it to one of that dev servers, which is most of the times not authenticated. And most of the times it also could be using your default password, like let's say admin admin or root root. And then they just, just export, expose it to internet for the test purpose. And at the end, they forget to decommission. And now this, this kind of endpoints, this kind of um, subdomains will serve as an entry point for attackers, right? And how do you keep a, keep a track of them? How do you find out that? And also from an attacker's perspective, from a hacker's or a security auditor perspective, it's very difficult for you to uh, figure out, uh, you know, uh, how many subdomain an organization has and do the data correlation, right? Let's say uh, you might be using any tools uh, for subdomain gathering. You might be using the other tools for port scanning. You might be using the other tools for vulnerability scanning. At the end, it's very difficult for you to correlate all of this data, right? And one of the solutions uh, from an organization perspective that you can use for you know, uh, the web application security, uh, for strengthening your web application security is of course your security audits and our penetration testing. Now, it's a, now your penetration testing, if you're not aware of what exactly is this, uh, it's an approach um, or it's a poster, uh, it's an, uh, I would say, uh, more of an activity to find out uh, how vulnerable your application is, what are an entry point for an attacker and how an attacker could, uh, you know, actually an attacker application. Uh, so it, it's more or less like your, um, you know, activity where you uh, emulate the attack from a hacker's perspective. So you could do that, but before you do any penetration testing or security audit, there is a very important step, which is called reconnaissance. It also can be named as asset discovery, right? So reconnaissance is all about its information gathering phase before you approach uh, to attack any application or any targets. Let's say you have a target called google.com and you want to attack this uh, you know, whole organization uh, or, or probably doing the security poster for this organization. Uh, the first thing that you would do is find out how many assets this organization has. So asset it could be in terms of your subdomains, it also could be in terms of your IP address, and, and then it also could be the number of ports and the number of running services. Uh, so And, and this, uh, this at the end will generate an attack surface. So from where an attacker could gain an entry to your organization, let's say you have a you know a test server, let's say test.pay.google.com. 
there there seems to be an unauthenticated dashboard where an attacker can go and you know um, launch some sort of attack. So uh, you know during the reconnaissance phase, you f- tend to find out these kind of uh, assets uh, are are probably generated in attack surface uh, and figure out the attack surface through which an attacker can actually exploit your applications. Uh, so that's that's all about reconnaissance. Um, you know, but the problem that seems to be, you know, let's talk about the problem. The problem that seems to be with the reconnaissance and asset discovery is that there are many really, really great tools out there that does reconnaissance, automated reconnaissance and asset discovery. But the problem is that, uh, let's say you use one tool for subdomain gathering, you use the other tool for some other purpose, you use the other tool for screenshot gathering. At the end, it's very difficult for you to do the correlation unless you are really good at doing the graping, right? Let's say you have one subdomain and that has an IP that has an port, open port, exposed services. Now it's very difficult for you to do the correlation, data correlation, right? Uh, and also one of the reasons is that a lot of these tools, the output might be in different forms. Let's say subdomain gathering could be in the TXT form. Uh, you know, at the end you run an nmap. The output could be in the form of XMLs, right? Now it's very difficult for you to do the data correlation uh, when you do the reconnaissance. And where range in comes uh, in play is uh, to do the data correlation. It helps you to streamline the process and also do an automated reconnaissance, which we'll see the demo. Now. Are there any existing tools before I build this range in? Yes, there were many existing tools and there are also very good monitoring services. Uh, some of them from commercial tools like, uh, you know, Aculetics is a very good vulnerability scanner. You also have your, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I forgot the name exactly. I think it's called uh, Security Trails, I guess. Security Trails. You also have Nessus for, you know, vulnerability scanning. These tools are really good out there. And uh, and, and uh, we also have open source alternatives, uh, which seems to do the good job. But now the problem with these tools is that the first thing, commercial tools are really, really expensive. And it's very difficult for a small business and organizations to afford. And if you're an individual pen tester, it's very difficult for you to, uh, you know, get a hold of these uh, commercial tools as well. And also that most of these existing commercial tools are not on premise. That means your um, assets, uh, you know, your data about the asset is going to be in somebody else's server, right? And a lot of times when I discuss with companies, they really don't want to do that. And that's when the range in, the idea of range in came into uh, idea where you could actually install uh, the tool, the continuous asset monitoring service, or probably let's say reconnaissance into your own premise, wherever you wish it to be. Uh, and some of these open source alternative services that seem to be lacking continuous monitoring services and smart alerts. Uh, when I say continuous asset monitoring service, it's let's say how many of the subdomains appeared in the last 24 hours, right? Or how many of the new endpoints has appeared? So a very few open source tool, they give you this. And also smart alerts. Let's say you want uh, the notifications to be sent on your Discord, Slack. It also could be on your... Um, um, you know, wherever your developers are. So a lot of these open source tools, they lack that, right? And many of these open source tools already exist that does the reconnaissance for you, but they need an expertise. As I said, you need to be really good at gripping if you want to do the data correlations. And the missing part was data correlation, right? And reengine came with the idea uh, uh, where I said all this problem that you see in the traditional recon workflow is being solved by that. Uh, so if I had to say that in one single line, it's an open source automated reconnaissance framework that does the asset discovery, that does reconnaissance, and it also has uh, open source powered the vulnerability scanner with continuous monitoring. And it's powered by the vulnerability scanner is powered by your nuclei and does a really, really good job in finding out the vulnerabilities. So uh, let's see what all features we have in Rainsin. First, it's powered by all the existing open source tools, so you are not confined to using some, some certain tools. Reinsin allows you to, to uh, choose what kind of tools to use. Let's say for subdomain scanning, you want to use, uh, you know, subfinder or sublister, or you just want to use default, whatever we have, or probably even using multiple of them. So Reinsin helps you uh, choose the tools that you wish it to be. And we also have powerful and automated asset discovery. So there's a streamlined process that we already have and we also have continuous monitoring that means you can schedule scans every one hour every one week every one month you can do that as well and every time there is a, uh, there's something new data discovered new subdomain discovered we also send you the notifications on that 
And we also have, of course, recon data correlation. We'll see what exactly is that recon data correlation in some time. And as I said, we also have vulnerability scanning powered by your nuclei. And we also have smart alerts for asset monitoring. Let's say you have kept an uh, asset google.com for scanning. Uh, and, and, and every time Rainsin finds out new subdomains, let's say somebody, some, some subdomain has recently appeared, it's gonna send you the notifications on your uh, notification channels. Uh, the most important thing is that we also have customizable audit report. So this audit report, uh, it could be your reconnaissance report or it could also be your vulnerability scanning report. Uh, now the use case for this tool uh, for pen testing, uh, you can use it for reconnaissance. And if you're an organization, you can use it for continuous asset monitoring service. Let's say, hey, scan my target. Let's say my own organization.com every once in a week and send me an alert, a notification every time a new vulnerability or a new subdomain has appeared. And you can use Reinsin for that. For penetration testers, you can use Reinsin for uh, you know, automated reconnaissance pipeline. Uh, this is highly customizable and configurable. You can choose what your tool uh, you know, has to, sorry, what, what tools to use and uh, what your scan engine has to uh, perform. Let's say I only want passive scan, you can do that. Let's say I want, I want the full scan, you can do that as well. Uh, and if you have to talk about the pipeline, let's say you have a target here. It's very uh, well explained already here. Uh, the target is first sent to subdomain gathering and it does uh, HTTP probing to find out if the, I mean, these subdomain that we have gathered, like let's say 10,000 sub subdomain, are they alive? Are they 200 and okay? And once we figure out that they're alive, we do the screenshot gathering. We also, uh, you know, identify the IP addresses behind them. And now this data will be again sent for port scanning and service identification. We also gather your endpoints from your several sources, including your Wayback URLs and also crawling your web. Um, web application page and we also do the vulnerability scanning plus your open source intelligence right and in vulnerability scanning let's say if uh, any new vulnerability has been discovered we send that into your smart alerts uh, your telegram slack or discord and also every time a critical high or medium vulnerability is found we also send the notifications to your favorite notification channels and on all the URLs that we have gathered, we also do a pattern matching on top of that to figure out if, if, if these URLs might be probably, let's say, vulnerable to LFI, RFI, or probably your cross-site scriptings, right? So we do the pattern matching to find out the probable, uh, probably vulnerable URLs and send them to a very nice and fancy dashboard UI. And at the end, this whole data can also be sent to your audit reports, which we'll see it's a PDF generated report. Um, and on the left, again, you can see the continuous asset monitoring service as well. So every time a new subdomain is discovered, we send the notifications to Telegram or Slack or Discord, whatever you want it to be. Uh, that's pretty much about uh, the pipeline. Uh, now we'll see the demo on how exactly uh, to use this tool and how it's gonna be super, super beneficial for you. So this is the dashboard of, uh, default dashboard of Reigns in. Um, uh, but before we talk about the dashboard, maybe we need to talk about the installation steps. So installing Greens is very, very simple. Uh, it is just executing the install.sh script. That's it. Uh, so all the dependencies, moreover, because reengine has everything dockerized, you do not have to worry about your you know, database. You do not have to worry about your anything. Everything is taken care of by. All the dependencies will be taken care of. Uh, so head over to our documentation page. It's the reinsin.wiki. That's where all the documentation lies. So once you go over there, you can find the installation steps on your uh, VPS provider or even installing it in local machine. You can, uh, all the steps are there. So here on the screen, you can see uh, all the targets, the subdomains, the endpoints. This is a very quick summary, a very quick glance. If you, um, let's head over down. You also have the most common vulnerabilities all the technologies, ports, the most common IP addresses, and the feed is also over here. So this dashboard is more or less like, you know, to give you a glance, uh, to give you a very quick glance of all the things that are happening uh, right now. And if you have any, uh, you know, let's say any scan activities, if any scan is running, you can also find them over here. Uh, and then that's pretty much about the dashboard. Uh, now let's look into what exactly is targets and how do we start scanning your uh, organizations are you know uh, your targets so once you go to targets you can find out the domain names your organization 
if it belongs to any organization and your description all things over here let's now click quickly click on add targets and let's say lorimipsum.com let's add the target so it was that simple it was very very simple you can also import your targets from a txt or a csv file you can also add multiple targets you can also add from your ip addresses or your cid arrays both are supported now that we have seen how to add targets let's see how to scan and to do that you have two options over here uh, either you can do a quick scan that's like scanning right now or you can also schedule scan now, as I said, your continuous monitoring, you have two options, uh, either to do the periodic scan, that's, let's say, run a scan every 30 minutes, or also you can do a clocked scan to run exactly at this specified time. Uh, that's about your scheduler, and for quick scan, you can click here, and then now you'll be allowed to choose your scan engines. Now, this is very, very important. So, what exactly are scan engines and re engine? So, your scan engines are something uh, that you scan your target against. Let's say uh, the type of scan could be your full scan, subdomain only scan, your open source intelligence, your vulnerability scan, right? It could be anything. Now, when you click on add scan engine, what's gonna happen is that you can name, uh, you know, the best part about Ray engine is that you get to configure them very, very minute details. Details like what tools to use, what threads to run. It could be pretty much anything. So once you define the engine name here, on the left that you can see what your scan engine has to perform. Let's say I only want to perform subdomain discovery, but I don't want like all of them. Or it also could be, let's say I want directory and file size. You can click here and then let's say demo. This is your engine. And then you also get to choose all these uh, configurations from your YAML based. Uh, we do have YAML based configuration. So you can choose what tools to use. Uh, let's say your intensity of your open source intelligence. That's your normal intensity, or it could be high, deep intensity. Uh, your visual identifications that's why screenshot gathering so every everything is given over here if you want to f find out how uh, the settings work and what are the available options again please head over to the documentation you'll find everything needed for this you know yaml based configuration now let's click and scan engine now remember that we have defined a demo engine and we're going to scan our uh, lower ipsum against this demo engine so you can come over here and then see the engine capabilities are subdomain discovery, your skins are gathering, it also is going to do the uh, directory and file search, but it's not going to do the port scanning, right? So once you choose that, click on next, and now you will also be allowed to import your own subdomains. Let's say if you already have any private recon tools or any other tool has given you the list of subdomains, you can also enter it over here, and you just need to separate using the new line and you can also keep out of scope subdomain let's say you do not want our vulnerability scanners or um, fuzzers to go and uh, do some attack on your uh, admin.google.com or admin.example.com if that is a subdomain that you want to skip you can very well come and uh, you know place that subdomain in out of scope subdomain list as well so you can click and start scan and then that's uh, let's click and start scan so your scan will be initiated and you can find them over here as well so one of the scan is right now working and once you f do that i think uh, maybe let's talk about the organizations so we also allow you to you know tag your targets to an organization so you can tag your let's say we can name our organization as linux Linux Foundation, and then we can choose this hacker one, Facebook, Stripe. Now, this is gonna be super helpful when you have multiple targets for a particular organization. Let's say Google. Uh, let's take an example of Google. Now, for Google, you may have Google.com as your uh, sub uh, as your target. It could be also Waymo.com. It could be also any any of its um, you know children organizations. It could be anything. So you can define all of them here, and instead of scanning them individually, you can tag them to an organization and initiate this scan for an organization. Let's say add organization. Now your Linux foundation is an organization. Uh, instead of scanning them individually, you can, let's say here, it says three domain associated with organization Linux foundation, hacker one, Facebook and Stripe. So you can again choose the, you know, scan engines and very well initiate the scan. So that's all about initiating, uh, sorry, uh, tagging to a uh, particular organization. It's gonna be super helpful for you as well. Um, and once you have started scanning, 
the result of uh, you know scan is some something uh, it, it's gonna look something like this so once you come over here on the left you can see all the uh, you know scan status again all the quick summary over here and all the target information your who is record is gonna be faced from here and your HTTP status breakdown uh, it's gonna give you a very fair idea of how many of the subdomains are alive right now how many of the subdomains are 401 so depending on uh, the status the color code also is gonna change uh, you also will have an important subdomains that mean that means we also allow you to mark any subdomains as important as well and if you go down you have ip addresses so all the ip addresses that we have gather is going to appear over here and you can also hover them to figure out how many of the ports are open if if in case you have done the port scanning and then we also allow you to do the uh, say we also since we gather all the technologies we also quickly tell you how many of the discovered technologies are over here you can see that we have discovered this many technologies and you can click on any of these to you know get more idea about how many of these technologies are being used by other targets let's say yeah so your uh, this particular technology is being used by this you know uh, all of these uh, uh, what do you say uh, subdomains uh, and let's say image in s3 so it's being used by two subdomains use this technology and these are the subdomains right now this is what exactly we call the deeper correlation so now the, your relationship between your subdomains your technology is being used your uh, ips and your ports everything is gonna over, come over here and if you click on any of these uh, IP addresses, it's gonna tell you how many of the subdomains are actually using that. Now it says it has 30 subdomains that are using this particular you know, uh, IP address. So this is all the deeper correlation that we do on your reconnaissance data, right? So let's go back here and click on subdomain. This is something which you'll spend a lot of time, a lot of time. Uh, all the things that you see over here is very well managed on a tabular structure so you can also see your subdomains very quickly you can see the http status as well and then you also have title you also have ip addresses content length and if we have taken any screenshots you would also get to see them here so let me find out if i have taken any screenshots probably i do have uh, okay so this one is a full scan yep there is a full scan over here Let's click on view results. Let's click on subdomain. So you'll get to see all the subdomains with their screenshots on your, you know, right. So all of this data that you see are being generated by multiple tools. Uh, your subdomain could be generated any from any 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 of these uh, tools like sublister, subfinder. It could be anything. And similarly, we take screenshots using tools like eyewitness. So at the end, all of the data is going to be correlated and be shown in a tabular structure. You also will be able to click on this IP address and figure out how many of other subdomains are using that IP address. You can very well do that. You can also click on if there are any open ports. Let's say this particular subdomain has port number 465 open. You can click and you can also find out how many of other subdomains has this port open. So this is the kind of like back and forth data correlations that we do. And you have any screenshots here. You can very well click here and then see that in a, in a bigger picture. And we also have your uh, response time in case you need to figure out them and all of these are again sortable you can very well click on this content length you can sort them based on content length ip address status it could be anything now the problem with the recon data is that it's really really huge uh, for reconnaissance data for let's let's take an example face for facebook.com which is probably facebook has 16,399 subdomains now f finding out you know, interesting data out of 16,000 subdomain is gonna be very, very difficult, right? So in Range we also do a lot of um, interesting stuff. We do what we call is interesting subdomain finding. That it, it, it uses some certain keywords to find out interesting subdomains and Range does that automatically for you and it's completely customizable as well. You will also get an option to choose, uh, let's say you will also get an option to uh, add on interesting keywords Right now you see on the screen it says range in has identified 14 interesting subdomains check it out so we'll come back to this one or maybe let's just go it so depending on the keyword like admin dashboard ftp range in figures out what is the most interesting subdomain for you let's say range in has discovered admin.dave.facebook.com here and range in also has found out c panels or some ftp panels similarly range in is also going to identify the your interesting endpoints depending on the keywords Again, all of these are completely customizable. So if you go over here, scan engines and click on interesting lookup, 
you will find out an option to you know add your own custom keyword let's say for me dashboard is an interesting sorry For me, dashboard is an interesting one. You can do that. Now, we also allow you to choose way to look up these uh, keywords. You can figure out them here and also look up conditions. That's pretty much about here. Let's go back and uh, see how the recon data will look like. Yeah, so this is the recon data that we already saw. Now, the interesting part about Rainsin is that we also allow you to, you know, we have our custom query language where you can combine multiple queries and filter the recon data. Let's say, hey, I want all the subdomain that uses admin in the base ID name equals to admin so you're gonna find out all the subdomain that uses that has admin in its base title it was that interesting you can also filter out based on the HTTP status so you can also filter out based on the HTTP status so you all of these that you see right now are in HTTP status the 200 so we can also uh, filter them based uh, sorry combine the query results let's say I want and uh, let's say maybe name equals to profile so you'll see all the subdomain that has HTTP status 200 and has name Kofi so your uh, you know filtering could be done based on various titles that is your base title HTTP status if it is important based on CNAME records based on technology based on ports it could be pretty much anything here so you can also define the conditions greater than small than you can do pretty much anything here and as i said interesting recon is all about fig figuring out what is the interesting recon data for you um maybe let's go back and click on full scan we'll find out some more stuff there yep so now recon data census this is very very important as i said uh, range and also can be used as a continuous monitoring service so every time any new subdomain has uh, been appeared every time a new subdomain has been found range is gonna uh, you know send you the notification uh, on discord slack or telegram also range in uh, uh, will keep a record of which all are the interesting subdomains uh, sorry uh, recorded at changes so you see here right now this scan has one subdomain that has been recently appeared so but it has http status 400 that's all about the recon data changes we also have screenshots gallery so if you just want to have a look at all the screenshots rather than going through the tabular structure you can also do that what is interesting is that you also get to filter them based on http status let's say show me all the subdomain that has http status 200 it was that fast and that quick you also will be able to filter based on your IP addresses, based on running services, based on ports, based on technologies. Let's say which all of these subdomain uses PSP. So all of these uses PSP as a technology, right? Let's say MySQL. So all of these uses MySQL. So you can also filter them based on various other factors. You can search them if you have any interesting queries. You can do that here. Now we also do the directory search. So you can find if uh, Reengine has done any directory search. Uh, if you have chosen that in the scan engine, you also get to see all the directories over here and we also have all the URLs that are gathered and also of course your uh, if we have done any uh, pattern matching using GF, you will also get to see them over here. Uh, again, yes, we also do the uh, vulnerability scanning. So you'll also get to see the vulnerabilities tab here and the vulnerability title, the critical severity, sorry, the severity, the vulnerability URL. Um, and the description if it has any and the status so you can also open and close the status you can do that from here and that's pretty much from vulnerabilities we also have open source intelligence we also gather your employees associated with that we also gather your email address and once we gather all the email address we also send them to your ex uh, exposed DV, it's a leaked databases and we also find out if it has any exposed credentials we also do that here and we also do metadata discovering that's your um, uh, you know uh, find, figuring out the pdf files and uh, all the me metadata associated with that we also have darking so you can find out what all what all other features that range in, in open source intelligence supports you can figure out them here and interestingly we also provide you the recon data visualization so this is very important and is going to be very helpful for you let's say here you can see all the technologies all the ip addresses and all the relationship between your uh, recon data and what's interesting is that you also get to download them he from here and let's say i don't want to expand all of them so this is very customizable you can play around with it that's from your visualization now we also have a dedicated vulnerabilities tab from which you can figure out 
vulnerability is not only in your one particular target but across through all of your targets you can do that and once you go to quick scan history you will also get to figure out um, you know let's say uh, stripe.com you'll also get to you know uh, uh, mark any subdomain says important uh, or any even add recon notes and to do uh, so this is going to be super helpful if you are doing the security audit right now and maybe let's say you come back tomorrow and want to resume from same either you can mark them as important or you also you can you know add any recon notes and to do so any recon notes and notes or to do are going to be over here uh, also you can mark them as important yep uh, that's pretty much in the to do and I think scanning is covered um, this is all about uh, brute forcing uh, yep we, uh, we also allow you to add proxies you know using proxies is recommended because uh, you uh, I mean when you do this kind of reconnaissance uh, you're likely to get banned uh, because of any because you because of the limits uh, so you can put as many number of proxies as you want but at the end what's gonna happen is that your engine is gonna pick one randomly from here and then use it to scan against your targets so, uh, that's you can use it here um, tool setting tools arsenals so in the tool arsenal section all the tools that range in uses and if there are any updates range in will you know so over here update HTTP so you can update the versions of HTTP or any other tool that range in uses so it's updated right now so this is our tool arsenals uh, and what's important that probably you might need to see is notification settings so these notification settings you will be allowed to send notifications to your slack to your discord and to your telegram you can do that from here and you will also get to choose what kind of notifications to be sent let's say i only want to get a notification when the scan is initiated or completed or maybe let's say i don't want them so you can choose from here uh, if any subdomain changes has appeared you can choose them pretty much it's very customizable that's all about notifications most importantly we'll see the report setting this is something that is coming up in your engine and is going to be super super important uh, so now this is a settings for your audit report you will get to choose even smaller minor details like colors of the report let's say let me just say uh, company name is open source summit address nepal foot text if you want to swap anything if you want to give credits range in or not and we also allow you to you know completely customize the executive summary as well so uh, this is going to appear before the quick summary and you can define your own um, you know uh, what do you say uh, executive summary we do have some of the syntax that we support and which is which will be replaced by actual data so when you click and save report settings let's go back to quick scan history and then let's say the full scan that we had done you can click on these dots and click on download report so you'll have an option whether to download only reconnaissance report or only the vulnerability report you can choose that and click on download report so the report audit report is being generated right now and uh, it should be ready in no time yep so okay so this is this is your audit report that range and has just now generated for you so you'll also okay so you can see how open source summit so everything that we have written table of contents executive summary so as i said the executive summary is going to be filled with the actual data which is over here and all the observations the quick summary everything so this audit report is automatically generated and it's going to be super super helpful for you and if you are part of any organizations this also could be a very uh, help for you I think that's pretty much about um, re-engine, uh, so it's more or less of a reconnaissance plus your continuous asset monitoring service. You can use it either uh, only for reconnaissance or either use it only for continuous monitoring services. So use it whatever you like uh, and it's there in the GitHub. The link for the tool is github.com slash yogesoza slash re-engine. That's where it is and um, that's all about the demo now we have come towards the end of this talk uh, if you have any questions about the tool if you have any feature request please feel free, uh, feel free to uh, drop them on the chat sections uh, i'll be very much happy to answer them if you have any questions if you have any feature request head over to our github page and please uh, raise a request we also have out on discord channel 
uh, if you have any, uh, you know, if you need any help, the support is available over there as well. So I look forward for your questions and thank you very much for listening. Um, thank you once again.